Welcome to my allotment UK. I'm Mike and this is what has happened on my allotment for the past week. Like most weeks what has happened on the allotment has been dominated by the weather we've had and this week it's been one of sunshine and showers. What dad would call good growing weather. So what we've had we've had that magic rain followed by warm sunshine. Fortunately all my crops are now safely in their beds. There's still some to, there's still some to do uh, but generally speaking most of the crops are in. What that has meant is that I can now relax a bit and I can do this and I can do some of that. In other words I can do pottery and I do like pottery. I did manage to sow a succession of carrots but before I could do that I had to, the, to thin the first carrots that I sowed earlier in the year uh, so I could get to them. So I, I did that and then I sowed the last row of carrots. But look at this, have you seen this? About three weeks ago I sowed some carrots which were old seed and I waited and I waited and nothing came through but um, so I sowed some new seed, some freshly bought seed and both lots have now come through and I've got a parallel line and I haven't a clue which row is which but there we go. Peas I sowed last week they've come up and they're looking quite strong so I should imagine next week I'm going to have to put some more peas in and yes the mice have left me alone but I've got to show you the uh, French beans they've really come on a, by an arm and a leg and I will think that next week I'm going to be sowing the succession row from there and it's in my mind it's definitely the way uh, to sow uh, French beans bit of French here en masse first I've had the first harvest of calabrese which we had for dinner today and uh, these are doing well and these are the ones that were in the uh, wool compost so I can recommend the wool, wool compost but I can't recommend the price it costs. The onions are doing quite well uh, it, uh, this week it's the summer solstice and that is the key to th that the onions take to start drooping the leaves and start swelling out the bases. I should imagine that by the end of well, mid next month we might be drying some of them out and I'm, I'm very pleased with the onions. Another one to show is the runner beans climbing up the post at a great rate you can almost see them. Obviously the sweet corn is looking strong. What else have we got that's growing well? Um, oh the beetroot uh, I, there was uh, just one ready I had a look through and a well I say it was ready, it was a small one but uh, I thought I'd uh, try thinning that. But I should think that if we get some more rain, which is expected, we should get those swelling up and we should be doing a regular harvest of uh, beetroot. Strawberries are coming to a close now for the, for the fruit but there are still some flowers on there which will come up and there is one species at the top left hand end called Malwina which is a late cropping one. This one fell off I didn't pick it. They're in this uh, green stage. Red currants that's over there red currants they're still doing okay we've had quite a few pickings from them and we're making uh, red currant jelly and then of course there's the gooseberries and we've had some gooseberries which then leads me into another subject which is uh, the leeks. Uh, one of my fellow uh, potholders, Dick, heard that I hadn't got any leeks and why I hadn't got any leeks and uh, he left some uh, leek seedlings in the polytunnel with a note saying uh, I can have these. He saved my life on that. The link to the gooseberries is that he will get, he will receive his own dish of gooseberry crumble. Dick? Please enjoy. With the frequent showers that we've been having, I've done a fair share of what you might call 
Armchair Gardening. That's watching the various gardening programmes and the presenters who are trying to do social distancing or self-isolating and having to do their own camera work. And uh, some of them are good at it and some are absolute rubbish. But there's one guy called Chris Beardsley and I've found that he's quite good. And he has a set pattern. I've been looking back at previous weeks. He wasn't in this week's series of uh, Beach Grove. Previous ones is in there. And he has the same pattern where he walks in from the left, kneels down, talks to the camera. So I'm going to try and copy that and see if I, I can uh, work out how he does it. I got the, the help of uh, David, my friend, and I, I stood behind the camera and worked out what the distances were within there. And it was easy doing it as being the cameraman towards the subject. But when you're the subject as well, I, I'm still having difficulty with it. Chris walks on the scene from the left, walks to where he is to demonstrate, he then kneels down, looks into the camera and cuts into a head and shoulders shot. On completion, returns to where he started and any significant b-roll is then added. All this was taken with me operating the camera at the subject. I now have to practice with myself as the subject, but still operate the camera. Ooh, my knees are hurted on a storm. Right, and the last thing that I've got to talk about is a job that I've been putting off. Well, it's not been putting it off. I've, I've been busy on other things, but that's a square foot garden. I did this square foot garden 11 weeks ago and uh, this week I decided to put the plants in and see how it went and I'm amazed that it's virtually weed free. It's got one here now which has sprung up and they come up quite easy, it's no digging, they just come straight out and there's one here and that just comes straight out. And when I've dug down to put the plants in I found that the grass underneath isn't there, it, it's all rotted away, even the cardboard uh, uh, is disintegrated and it's just soil that's in there. Really is amazing and it really is virgin ground. The council's trimmed the path, nothing's grown on this section of the allotment for at least a hundred years. The cable to the pylon was put in in 1930, so that's 90, 90 years ago and all I did was trim it, put cardboard down, put the frame round and put the compost on. And you can see on an earlier shot only three weeds in that period have appeared. And I've just got one here now which has sprung up and they come up quite easy. It's no digging, they just come straight out. And there's one here and that just comes straight out. Residue from the trimming because the council he left this patch because he didn't want to disturb this. Didn't want to be accused of spoiling the experiment. Okay, we'll see how that goes. So that's what I've been doing. Well, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, please. And if you're not already done so, subscribe. And uh, if you to get further notifications of episodes, then you need to ring that bell. But what I would like as if you could comment. I do like the comments, I get some interesting comments and I do try and answer them. So all that's left for me now is to say take care, look after yourself and hopefully I'll see you next week and it's bye!